welcome to another video and let's see these beautiful questions uh the problem to it you know x to the power of root x equals root x to the power x is the given problem and to solve this and to have a full solution to this so we are going to apply this method so we have x to the power root x equals x to the power x then everything is to power of one divided by two as the value of root uh, is one over two i mean the square root so here is x raised to power root x equals x raised to power of x divided by two and so on getting this we are going to introduce logarithm to this so we have log x raised to power root x equals log x raised to power of x divided by 2. Then we are applying the law of logarithm, that is, we take the power down. So here we have root x log x equals x divided by 2 log x. And you know, so we try to cancel log x here so it will not give us the full answer to this what to do is we transfer x over 2 log x to the left hand side then we have root x log x minus x divided by 2 log x equals 0. then the next thing we are going to have here is you know we can factor out log x say we have root x divided by uh root x minus x over 2 log x equals zero and there are two possible things here we let root x minus x over 2 equals zero or log x equals zero so doing that the first one is root x minus x divided by 2 equals zero and the second one is log x equals zero but to deal with the second one here you know if log x equals to zero definitely the value of x here equals one because log one equals zero so which gives the first solution to x and to see the other solutions we solve this so on solving this we transfer minus x over two to the right hand side then we have root x equals x divided by two and the next thing to do is we try to take the square of both sides just to eliminate the root then we have root x square equals x over 2 all square so if square and the root cancelled then we have x equals then the law of exponent says so x will take square and 2 will also take square that is 4 then cross multiply we have 4x equals x square or we can just say 4x minus x square equals 0 then we can factor out x in this so doing that we have x bracket 4 minus x equals 0 so which shows that x equals 0 or we can have x equals 4 so we are gotten four three different solutions for x x equals 0 x equals 1 and x equals 4 so we can just combine everything together here which is x equals 0 1 and uh, x equals 4 so here are the three roots for x as far as this question is concerned but is it true that all these solutions satisfy the problem so here bring the auto check so let's check for this we have x raised to the power of root x equals root x raised to the power x so if we try to check for zero we know the base will be raised to the power of zero so that is zero raised to the power zero in this so by trying to do this you know we cannot say zero raised to the power zero equals to one so there's no basis and unless there's no evidence for that so there are some uh we can conclude that in some programming language like c plus plus so zero to the power zero equals to one then so for the second one we have one raised to the power root one is equals to um root 1 is to power 1 so which this is true because 1 equals 1 and for the last one which is 4 we have 4 raised to root 4 
equals root 4 raised to the power 4. And you know, for this, we have it as 4 raised to the power 2, which is equals. And by transforming this, we have 4 raised to the power 2 or raised to the power 1 over 2. Uh, we can just press the value of 4 raised to the power 4, which is 256. Then we take the square root of 8, which is 16. Uh, we can still apply this as well. So we know 2 can go in 4, that is in 2 times. So we have 4 raised to the power 2. So which means these two are equal. So which shows that x equals to 4 also satisfy this problem. And here is how to solve this. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe for more exciting videos like this and give a thumb up. So if you have another better way of doing this, different from this, then you can drop it in the comment box. Thanks for watching and thanks for always engaging in our video. I will see you in the next class.